I think we can all agree, there are some places on this planet that just feel different. They make you stop and wonder. And none more so than the Great Pyramids of Giza. They've stood there for millennia, a silent, powerful testament to a time we can barely even imagine. And every time you see them, every time you think about them, one question keeps coming up. How? How did an ancient civilization, without modern machinery, without cranes or computers, manage to build something so impossibly massive? I'm talking about over two million stone blocks, each weighing anywhere from two to 80 tons. It's a question that has launched a thousand conspiracy theories. Lost technology, ancient aliens. It's a great story, isn't it? But what if the truth is so much more profound? What if the real answer isn't a magical secret, but something that proves the people who built these things were even smarter than we give them credit for? Let's just be honest for a second. The scale of this thing is just mind-boggling. I mean, think about a single block. It's huge. It's heavy. Now think about two million of them. Moving just one of those stones, let alone all of them, seems impossible. The most common, and frankly lazy theory, is the straight line ramp. You know, just a big long ramp they built and pushed the blocks up. Seems plausible enough, right? But let's do some quick math. To get a ramp gentle enough to pull these massive stones, you'd need it to be over a mile long. A mile! And it would have required more material to build the ramp itself than the entire pyramid. So, yeah, that idea, it's a bust. And that's where the mystery really begins to take hold, isn't it? When the simple answers don't work, our minds wander to the unbelievable. So, let's go back to the beginning. We know the stones were cut from a quarry, and we know they needed to get them to the pyramid site. The most obvious tool they had was a wooden sled. But pulling a massive stone block on a sled through dry, coarse sand, it would take an army of people, and it would be brutally slow and inefficient. Here's the thing, though. We found a small mural in an ancient tomb. It shows workers pulling a statue on a sled, and right in front of the sled, a man is pouring water or some kind of liquid onto the sand. Think about that. One simple detail, a little bit of water. It's not magic. It's not advanced technology. It's a fundamental understanding of physics. A small amount of water reduces friction in the sand by 50%. It's a brilliantly simple solution to a massive problem. They weren't guessing. They knew exactly what they were doing. It's that kind of quiet genius that sends a shiver down my spine. Now, they've got the blocks to the site, so how do they get them up? It's easy to assume they just brute forced it. But these people were engineers, not just laborers. They understood the principle of the lever, a long beam, a fulcrum, and suddenly a weight that seems impossible to lift becomes manageable. This is where it gets really clever. Forget the one mile long ramp. The most accepted theory today is that they built a spiral ramp that wrapped around the pyramid itself as it grew taller. Think of it like a giant parking garage ramp. It's a continuous smaller ramp that doesn't need nearly as much material. They could have used the same wet sand and sled technique, pulling the blocks up a gentle slope inch by inch around the pyramid. And what about the final push to get a block from the top of the ramp to its exact position? Again, it comes down to a simple tool, the pulley. We have evidence from other ancient sites showing the Egyptians' mastery of ropes, pulleys, and counterweights. They could have used a system of ropes and pulleys at each corner of the pyramid to hoist the blocks into their final positions. It's not about one grand, secret machine. It's about a sequence of incredibly simple, elegant solutions. It's about breaking down an impossible task into a series of smaller, very possible ones. A small amount of water to reduce friction, a simple lever to lift, a spiral ramp to climb, a pulley to position. Each step on its own seems almost obvious, but put them all together and you get one of the most incredible achievements in human history. You see, the ancient aliens theory is easy. It's a nice, neat little bow on a big, complicated mystery. It lets us off the hook. We don't have to grapple with the truly astonishing fact that a group of people, using nothing but their own minds and basic tools, accomplish something we still find hard to comprehend. The real story isn't about lost technology, it's about lost history. It's about looking at these mysteries not as evidence of something supernatural, but as a challenge to our own understanding of human potential. They weren't magical, they were just brilliant. And that to me is so much more awe-inspiring. If you love diving into the stories behind the headlines and archives, the ones that make you ask, 
What really happened? Then I hope you'll stick around. I've got a lot more hidden files to share with you.